fellow Makeup Planes. Today I'm going to do a review on the Naked 2 palette. I just got this the other day. I ordered it, I think it was last Friday night. I can't exactly remember. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and it came on Wednesday, so that was really exciting to come home to. I actually trapped myself to this for my birthday. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I ordered it. Uh, and it came in this packaging. So it's the usual sort of plastic packaging and then on the back it's got the eyeshadow colours and just what you should be receiving in the pack which includes the brush and it also comes with a lip plumping lip gloss in Naked and it's quite nice. It's a lovely sort of rosy sort of pink colour. I know a lot of people have already tried this. It's in this kind of applicator. The only thing that kind of puts me off it is it's got very strong minty sort of it's like mint chocolate to me like a minty smell and I'm not sure about that but put it in the drawer anyway it's that's not the important thing the important thing is the palette itself so this time round they actually made the palette of tin so it's nice and strong and sturdy it's got quite a big sort of area here for you to open it and as you if you remember the original naked palette it's exactly the same size but this one is a velvet finish which I actually really like, it's very tactile and I just know that it can become quite grubby if you store it with other makeup but I'd store it completely separate so luckily mine has stayed nice and clean and pristine. Um, it took me a long time to get a hold of this palette. Um, as you can see it's got a little mirror in the top here and then there are your colours and it actually came with a brush. I don't know, that one's up here somewhere. Hang on. This wasn't the first actual um, wave of the palette. The first wave of the palette, you got a double ended pencil, which had a limited edition colour called Whiskey, but it did come with an eyeshadow brush. And I actually really love the brush. It's really nice, soft bristles, and it's really effective at packing the colour on. Um, this time round, it came with a brush that is double ended, which is actually quite pretty. So you've got like a fluffy sort of blend and brush and a brush to put the colour on itself. So just a basic eyeshadow brush. The only problem I have with this is I don't actually like to keep them in here um, because you open it, things fall out. It's a bit of a pain keeping your finger across it to keep things in. And the only thing with double ended brushes is I don't like storing them in an, like a, a container um, just because of, I suppose, hygiene reasons. Um, but I do keep on top of cleanliness, so I, I guess it'll be okay. So pop that in there and um, you would have seen originally a review on this on my channel. This is the original Naked and then this is the Naked 2. There are quite a lot of new colours in this palette. I'm going to hold them up for you. This is what the two look together with Naked 2 being on the top there. So you can see there are some similarities, but there are bound to be. It's naked. It's the kind of browny, taupey colours, the naked, natural, earthy sort of colours, I guess. Um, so you're going to get some similarities. The only thing about this one is it doesn't really have any kind of the, the toasted sort of burgundy shades or blue shades that this original one had, um, which is good really, because uh, although they are nice and I have used them, they do stand out as a little bit different um, to the concept for me is about beiges and nudes and browns. Um, I didn't have any brown eyeshadows before I got this palette. I wasn't in a brown on my eyes at all, um, but I there was a lot of hype about it, I guess, and I got quite interested in it and thought I would check it out. I never had it, as I said, for a very long time. I got a couple of other palettes from Urban Decay in the meantime. Absolutely love the pigment of the shadows. The colour is amazing. So I decided to go and see if they had it in on an off chance and they did have it so of course I had to pick it up because I actually swatched the colours and really loved them there was only two or three that I thought oh I don't know if I'm going to use that but I thought well that's okay out of a whole palette um, but actually I have used absolutely every colour so that's okay now what I'm going to do for the portion of this video now I am going to swatch this palette and then I'm going to swatch this one next to it just so you can get a general idea about the colours in here um, the colours, because there sometimes can be duplication between palettes, are called Foxy, Booty Call, Tease, Suspect, Verve, Busted, Half Baked, Chopper, Snake Bite, Pistol, YDK and Blackout. 
song. I mean, that's pretty good. Five of them apparently are new. Um, but I haven't got all of these colours anyway, so it's pretty good. And uh, I think there's quite a few matte shades in here. So we'll just switch to me swatching. Thank you. Okay, so this is the original Naked palette. And I'll talk you through the colours now. It's a little difficult to make out some of them, but we'll start from the end. So This one at the end is Gone Metal. Then creep. This one. Then hustle. And then last one in this row is toasted, which I really love. Coming up on this row, the last one here is dark horse. Then the next one is smog. Half baked, which is a very pretty colour. And then buck. The last four are sidecar naked sin and virgin which you can barely make out to be honest it's so light there it is there it's just a very pale shimmer so that is the original palette and i'm now going to swatch the naked so two. on this hand this is naked two we're going to start from the beginning the first shade is barely visible it is here and that one is foxy the gold coloured one next to it is half baked, followed by booty call, which is a lovely ivory shimmer, and then chopper. Coming down onto this row, this coppery sort of shade brownie taupe is teas. The one next to it is a chocolatey colour, which is snake bite. The next one is suspect, that's it there, and then following that is pistol. Then on the last row, you've got Verve, which is barely visible, so there you can see just a shimmer there. Next to that is YDK. Following that is, what is that? Busted. And then Blackout. These are just one finger, swipe through, and then a swatch, which is pretty much the same for this hand. I think that the original Naked does have a better pigmentation but I think that's because a lot of these are matte shades and matte shades don't seem to be as creamy in formulation, understandably. Um, I think there are a lot of similarities between these colours uh, but they are very very pretty. I think they're a lot more subtle in colour than the original palette. I think you've got a lot more sort of dark shades in here definite more bronzes. Um, your first four obviously are quite simple, up to medium and then dark, whereas with the 12 in here there seems to be a fair little bit of a mix there and blackout is a really lovely chalky sort of dark black. It's really nice. I suppose if I did another little swatch over the top of that, that is just another little swatch. Blackout is a really deep black. It's really nice. Make a quite an effective powder eyeliner which is sometimes what I do with my shadows. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut now to talking a bit more about the palette. Okay, so I do love this palette. Uh, I do like that it's metal, even though I think the velvet one is nice. I like that this one is a little bit different. They haven't gone with exactly the same sort of thing. They have tried to make it stand out that little bit more. Also, they've made the packaging more of a sort of taupe colour, which is nice, rather than go for the dark brown. And I think that is particularly good as well, because the colours in here do seem to be a lot lighter. I do like that they've put a very large mirror in the lid, much bigger than in the original one, which is quite good. I do um, wish that instead of the lip gloss we had a primer portion because I really like the primer portions and it would have been or a, a mini eye pencil. I think a mini eye pencil would have been lovely in a colour that would just be specific to the Naked 2 palette so it's something that you couldn't purchase separately because I do love the 24-7 eyeliners and I think if they'd come out with an eyeliner called Naked that was specifically available with the palette I think I would have much preferred that to be honest. Uh, I think that quite a few of these are matte and those matte shades are obviously uh, a lot less creamy obviously because they are matte and uh, I like matte shades but I'm not like ultra mad about them if, if I'm honest. I really like a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of depth to my eyeshadows but there are some very beautiful colours in here. Um, just looking at them now 
I have to say things that stand out for me are uh, Verve, Suspect, which I already liked, Chopper and Booty Call. Obviously Half Baked is nice and obviously yeah Blackout is lovely. Um, but I think overall it is a lovely colour selection. I think they've done really well with this colour selection. It's a shame there's not more than five new colours. It would have been nice if at least half of the palette perhaps had been brand new colours. So you had six new colours instead of just the five. When you put them side by side, you do see quite a lot of the similarities. And I believe that some of these shades are actually repeated. Let's have a quick look. I know Half Baked is. Yeah, Half Baked is in the palette. Is it just that? Yeah, I think it is. It's just half baked. So that's not too bad. They haven't decided to um, put a lot of those shades into the second palette. But I think that's a sensible idea, really. And half baked is actually a really lovely colour. Um, so, yeah, that is the Naked 2 palette. That is my review. I'm definitely going to have a little bit of a play with this, do a couple of looks and then let you know how I feel about it. I never regretted getting naked. I think it's an amazing palette. It's very creamy. The, the shadows themselves are excellent. Um, so I think that that was a fantastic purchase. This retails for £36. It is still in stock on Debenhams at the moment and I believe at the moment if you spend over £30 you get £500 worth of points on your Beauty Cup card which is very good because that's £5 to spend in store. Um, so it's well worth, um, if you haven't picked up a Beauty Club card, to maybe pick one up for yourself and pick one of these up. I really thought it would have sold out. I'm quite surprised that it hasn't. Um, but I don't know if it's maybe the time of year that has stopped it from selling out because obviously everybody's just had Christmas and they not, haven't got as much to spend. Um, I knew this was coming so I did put something aside for it knowing that it was coming. Um, but yeah it is a difficult time of year I think for the launch I think if they launch this in December maybe early December or in November I think that this would have sold out very quickly because I think a lot of people would have purchased this as presents for people for Christmas um, which would have been nice because I would have loved this all gift wrapped under my tree <laughs> um, I always love Urban Decay shadows so uh, it's just another palette to add to my collection I think their shadows are amazing so that's my review and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. Uh, those are the two swatched hands. I think you can see that these ones are definitely more pigmented, but I think that could be because they are all used. Whereas the ones in here, that is literally the first time I've touched those shadows um, to do those swatches. And I wasn't very heavy handed because it's brand new and I don't really want to waste a doll on the back of my hand for its first use really. Um, so I think that once I've been using the shadows, I think that they will you know be as pigmented as this I think it's just that you know when you first use a shadow you're just breaking its surface really and then once you start using it it does get a lot more pigmented so that's it for now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon bye